Hey family! Oh, that sounds like a little drum roll. <laughs> hey family! Welcome back to another video with your girl Saint Seraphim over here. We do everything with you and love, and that's on spirit. Period. If you're new here, welcome to the sanctuary. If you're not, welcome back, sister. Saints, bro, stars, and shadows. If you're interested in any of my product services, courses, archives, <laughs> my Patreon, or any of my other socials, click that link down below in the description box, and it'll lead you to where it is you're trying to go. And if you would like to donate to the channel you can like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and support the other content on the channel or you can utilize um any of those donation links that are down below in the description box including my amazon wish list and super chat so y'all this is how my henna came out i think it looks really cool i did like crisscross on the fingers dots around the cuticles and then yeah that on the bottom of my hand but i wanted to cover my whole hand this time um yeah and i think it looks really cool um this is the first time i did my whole hand i think usually i just do like my fingers or just like something down here but this time i did my whole hand and i really like it so yeah um the song that the card for the day is libra 55 change balance all that good shit and the song that i was channeling as soon as i woke the freak up was lights camera action by mr cheeks if you never heard that song this is the day to go listen to it turn it around let me see something fuck with me for real it's gonna be something i'm talking lights camera action have me taking it out sorry this jackson turn it around <laughs> Today is a great day. It's a great day to have a great day. It's a great day to have a great day, babe. Um, so let's see what the energy is giving. Let's see what the energy is giving. It's Thursday. It's a Jupiter day. What's today? I haven't been marking off the days on my calendar in your cap. I need to do that. Tomorrow's a full moon. And Saturn goes direct tomorrow. Period. My little brother's championship game this weekend. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get the first card, at least. It's too many. Let's get one. What's the crown? What's, what's crowning this energy? Three pentacles. Oh. Collaboration. Working together. Some, some together. I have no idea what song that is, but I've heard it before. If you know what song that is, put it down below in the description box. Please. I meant in the comment section. Please. I have no, I can't even, I don't know who that's sung by. I don't know the words. I just know the melody. I, I don't know what song that is. What else? Oh, Spirit saying pull from the Valentine Oracle. <clears throat> well, let me open my sparkling water. I actually put it in the refrigerator. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I'm somebody, I don't really like cold stuff unless it's really hot outside. So I like, I prefer to drink everything room temperature, but I was like, you know, I want to see what it tastes like cold. So I put it in the refrigerator overnight. Oh my God, it's, it's really giving McDonald's Sprite. Ugh. Excuse me. That was a big ass burp earlier in the morning. What's this three of Pentacles for? You about to get some help. And I dreamt about that last night, like, help that i haven't seen in a long like people i haven't seen in a long time and it's like i was i lived in this building but it's crazy because i knew how to get downstairs but i didn't know how to get back up to the apartment like me and somebody else was lost as fuck <laughs> trying to get back to our apartments um and i was waiting for a door dash and the door dash person was like down there it was like a common area that was like a bar but it was like the lobby but it was like a whole bar like a like a club it almost seemed, seemed like um like a pub more like um and i couldn't find a person who had my stuff um i don't even remember what i ordered 
but I end up running into a few people who I haven't seen in a really really long time and like we all kind of just like end up linking up and like catching up and stuff like that before I was like trying to figure out how to fucking get back to my apartment upstairs um and then there was another I had another dream where like it was people helping my mom like get some stuff but every I had three different dreams but every dream had to do with me my family and people like us being a resource for a community of people or us being like a, the connect for a community of people like a connect for food a connect for resources a connect for all types of shit I don't know. That could, I don't know how that's going to resonate with y'all. But it's heavy on community. Heavy on community. Like, it's time to get It's time to get started. Service. Let me get, like, two more. One on each side and one under. Aura. Whatever type of energy you're giving off is making people want to help you, assist you, um, just be of assistance in whatever way, like, folks want to help you build. And it's because you might be wanting to help. Magic, ooh, hell no, disgust, irrelevant. Let's get one less one for Mystic for now. Geometry. That's crazy because I was like going down a, a quantum physics rabbit hole last night before I went to sleep. Um, a sacred geometry. This is to create like a, a bigger aura. Whatever this is, it's intended. Like it's happening to create a larger aura. So it's like spreading the energy. Some of y'all are really the source of, like, this new, fresh energy that's gonna go from, like, crabs in a bucket to more, like, community-based, like, where you're actually helping each other out type shit. Mm. Let's see. Let's get higher and see the show magic on top five. Because I feel like it is some... I feel like it's some tea that's gonna come out, but... You know, we ain't never gonna let the tea overshadow. Well, we ain't never gonna let the shade overshadow the tea, make the tea cold but the tea is herbal so it's always gonna be healing one way or another i'm really i'm low-key obsessed with this henna that i did like this might be my favorite one so far honestly and just like my nails, I literally was just like going, I was just, I just be freestyling shit. Like, I don't be thinking about it or planning it before. Like, I just be freestyling. And I think that's cool. So, I don't know. Some of y'all could freestyle. Some of y'all could do music or do some type of art or something like that. We did a reading about this in the, um, the Don series for uh, members, the YouTube membership. It was a whole reading about this type of energy. So I'm gonna go check it out. The membership is only 99 cents over here on YouTube. Temperance. Yeah, it's some um some real, I almost said galactic. Some very sacred things happening here. Like you don't just have the, you're not gonna just have the assistance of like other people. Excuse me, you're gonna have the assistance of like angels and um things you don't expect to have the assistance of. Like this is where miracles start happening every day. Help arrives in the most random type of ways. Like whatever this is, you understand the bigger picture. Like you understand the process that spirit is showing you. I'm not taking out of those.
Tell me about service. Dang, man. Yeah, you're not. If you think you're going to have to do this alone, you're not. You're going to have so much fucking help, bro. Eight pentacles will work. You're going to have so much help. You're going to have so much help. It's just you don't know where that help is coming from. Hummingbirds? Yeah. Because you're the sweet thing. You're you're the sweet thing. You got the sweet energy. You got this this shining. It's like it's like it's literally like magic. It's sweet. It shines. Who don't want that? Who don't want that? And motherfuckers gonna be on some. Hey, I help you do this. I just I just want a little piece of that uh that that magic that you got. I heard that thing that shit is potent. Like judgment. Yeah, aura. Yeah. Folks aren't seeing you as a devil anymore because you have something that most people don't have. They're understanding that it's bigger than that. <clears throat> You're not binding people to what you have. You're realizing that the divine is using you as a vessel in order to help them transform through what you have. Not binding them to what you have, helping them transform through what you have, like essentially allowing yourself to be used as a means to an end but for very divine reasons like the hangman with service really makes me think that people are going to be offering their service like they're going to be surrendering their service or surrendering to some type of form of service with the three of pentacles is because they want to support so they could be a part of the order they want to be a part of that number i found three fortune cookies last night too while i was cleaning something out i don't know i have fortune cookies all over the damn place i have a whole book full of them where is it they on the back of this notebook i think there's a whole page in this notebook full of Fortune, fortune. No, I think that's a different notebook. But I do have one of these notebooks is like full of fortunes, which is LOL. Um, a deter but the, the book itself is an oracle. Today is the day. And I got that from the dollar store. A determined heart frightens problems away. I feel like the scarecrow. I mean, yeah, I feel like the scarecrow from the Wiz. Because <laughs> he was pulling out fortunes out of his head. Like pieces of paper with words on it. You're an intuitive, your intuitive powers are strong tonight. Oh, well, that's pretty convenient. Success will have its arms wide open for you. Bro, negative energy ain't gonna be able to come nowhere near you. It's still gonna exist, it's still gonna try, but that energy is the weapon that has already formed. But when it comes to you, yeah, no, not in this season. It ain't gonna prosper, babe. And you, it's like you're not even going to have to fight. You're going to see in real time how your uh, angels are like, how your guides, how literally your soul family, your star family, your your real family, if you're still connected to them. <clears throat> you're going to see how all of these energies really, 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 really work on your behalf. You chose to be the one. You said, choose me, I'll go. So Spirit gave you a, a gift. Your wilderness season was learning how to use that gift to temper the energy around you. You've learned how to temper the energy around you. You've mastered whatever the hell the divine gave you. This is like somebody, this is like you, you have a friend that you haven't heard from in a long time. And like, you going through your own process, they going through their own process, but like, their process was gaining a bunch of money, but they fell off the face of the earth because they didn't want nobody to know it. They didn't really know how to, they didn't know what to do with that. So, you know, they, they spent the last year trying to figure out, like, how to act normal, basically. <laughs> and then your process might have been, you might, you might have fell on hard times, right? But you still had to, you know, make the best out of it. Not to walk around acting normal, but, like, to not let it get the best of you, right? And this friend reaches out to you, like, hey, um, i really like us to get together. Like, you get a letter in the mail, and it has a, it has a, um, what is it? Like, a, a, a plane ticket in it, and 
$10,000 in it, right? Like cash. Like you get a package, it has a plane ticket, a letter, and $10,000. I, I literally talked about this before. And this is somebody you're like, you, you, you wonder about them. You think about them often. And it's like, you haven't seen them in a long time. And it's like, you would love to like, you know, just like spend some time with them and like, just, you know, be with your friend. Like, you know, um, and so you, you get on the flight and you go and you, um, sorry, my brain is thinking of something else, but I don't want to cut into this to say that even though I just did. Um, you go, you meet your friend and like, you get on the the, the flight and you realize you got a first class ticket and it's like, hold up, oh shit, all right, thanks friend. Like, and you might be thinking about, mind you, you might have been thinking about like, you might have saw the ticket before you saw the money and it's like, oh, oh shit, ten. 10 bands like you can pay your bills and still go on a trip you can pay your bills probably for um a month or two a few months and still be able to go on your trip and have money in your pocket because you learn you really learn how to manage money by have like falling on hard times you learn how to make it you learn how to you know get by um and really managing your money so you're not just gonna spend a bunch of fucking money just because you have a bunch of fucking money and then so you get on the plane, first class, it's like, oh, oh shit, okay, okay, cool. You get off the plane, there's a car waiting for you at the at the airport. And you like, you know what? Cool, this is lit. Like, what the fuck my friend got going on? <laughs> this is lit, but what the fuck do my friend have going on? And um, it takes you to this really large estate. An estate. And you get out, you go in, and there's your friend. But there's other people too. And in the end, right, the purpose of your friend bringing you there and giving you the money was because they inherited something, right? And they couldn't figure out what to do with it. So they decided that they'd share it with the people that they care about the most, right? Because they might not have no family, right? And it's like, not only did they inherit it and they want to give you a part of it, but like you, they want to give you a part of the land. So it's like, say they inherit a, and, and a, a big ass, giant ass, like a state, literally a house and like 50 acres of land. And they invite five friends and they give all five friends 10 acres of land. That means y'all all own a piece of this land. You know what the fuck you want on this piece of the land. You can choose whatever, like, you know, whatever. You, if you want an acre in this corner and an acre in the next corner, like, however you want, y'all want to split that up, y'all could do that. But now you don't have to worry about, like, money for real. You got land. You got a house. You don't got to worry about... I mean, you could go back to your old life and, you know, struggle to pay the bills, whatever. Or you could go to this new life and figure out how to... Not even get it out the mud, bitch. Just how to build something with a strong foundation that you own. That's literally yours. Your house. You, you They're inviting you to live in the house. The shit is paid for. Like... But now all y'all got to figure out what y'all going to do with only y'all acres, with y'all acres. And naturally, y'all are going, y'all, y'all land is going to be next to each other. Y'all going to have to work with each other. Y'all going to have to, to figure out, right? Because different people are going to want to do different things with their shit. Y'all are going to have to figure out how to co not even coexist, but like, you might not even know these people. This is really, this is spirit. Look, spirit gave you the gift of community, service. Doing something that brings people together. Right? For most families, the only thing that brings them together is church and a funeral. Easter and a funeral. Easter Sunday and funeral. Right? Um... This is something that brings people together 
daily. Because they understand what they've gone through individually. And it seems like beyond a blessing to have many of your cares, your worries taken care of while also be given an opportunity to build something for yourself, literally. And to be around, surrounded around people who also are doing the same thing just in their own way. No matter what background, no matter what, where y'all come from, this is going to be a new experience. Because even if one of these people have already done this before, they might not have ever had to do it with other people, right? And not everybody's going to be coochie crunch either. Like, you know, it's always that one snobby person, that standoffish person, that old people pleasing person that like everybody is a is their own person right but you still have to figure out how to you know and the thing that spirit has taught you how to do like i said is bring people together you're the glue you're the glue and that's why your friend is trusting you you're the glue not only did you get 10 acres but you got the house right they might they want to move to a whole other country, right? But they're giving you the house. Everybody else assumed that the person still on the house, but the secret is the house is yours, right? But everybody still got their 10 acres, right? Because this friend know that you're going, before anything else, you're going to make sure everybody's good, right? And not in a way that people pleases, but in a way that is both sacred and valid. That's your gift. Three of Pentacles. And you're going to be using your gift to help this new community of yours defeat that negative energy. Defeat. This emperor is giving me somebody who will try to come and steal your shit because they kingdom falling. I don't know why so much information just came out on that card, but yeah, motherfuckers is looking out. It gives the book of Nehemiah. It gives the book of Nehemiah. For real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. No cap. Motherfuckers was spying like a motherfucker. People in your life, people in the lives of all of y'all are going to be looking like, what the fuck you got going on? Why you don't seem so stressed out, Domar? Where you at? But they're not going to be asking those types of questions. They're going to be more like, Oh, hey, I just wanted to call to check up on you. Oh, hey, I just wanted to see if you were okay, see how you were doing, see if you got that bill paid that you had called me and asked me for some money for that I didn't give you. But I want to see if you got the bill paid. <laughs> Y'all know how people be. Y'all know how people be. Just doing, just, just, just. You can tell when people being fucking nosy. It ain't gonna bother you though. Because it's no, it's even if you brought them people to this estate that you now own, right? With your 10 acres and these other people. First of all, you don't have to defend it by yourself because them other people are never first of all, if them other people try to usurp, if anybody in this group tries to usurp the others, they're not just dealing with one person, they're dealing with a group of people. Nobody in their right fucking mind is gonna do all of that. Especially for a motherfucker who ain't got what they got. Like, you gotta be real. You gotta be so real. People have, over these last few seasons of life, folks have gotten a little smarter. Like, and where you're going is a new level. So folks really ain't, like, they're they're leveraging appropriately. Cutting their losses. They're, they're, not, they're not compromising their whole lives. They got shit to lose, too. They got shit to lose, too. This could also just be meeting other people who resonate as earth angels to you. The same way you are, seem like maybe like an angel to other people. Even when you don't have, you still give. Or you somehow make things happen, right? And no matter how much other people might feel like you lack, 
somehow your energy is always so fucking abundant. So abundant. This is meeting other people like that. Period. It kind of gives me, you know what it kind of gives me in a little way? And I don't really know why I'm channeling this because I haven't seen it since it first came out. But she's got to have it. But the show, the Netflix version, um, I never seen the original She's Gotta, actually, I did see the original She's Gotta Have It by Spike Lee. Which was, woo, that movie was wild. I saw that when I was a kid. I watched it with my mom and my grandma. But, like, obviously, they didn't let me watch certain parts. But now I want to rewatch it. Oh, this is this is fem female lit. That's why. Mm -hmm. The hangman is in fact a man, and the emperor is looking on the outside. You have a this is this is people who are strongly even if it's men involved. These are people who are strongly tapped into their divine feminine energy. Karmic masculine energy, karmic feminine energy are not going to be able to infiltrate whatever this is. No, y'all energy together, your energy by itself is strong as fuck, Empress. Y'all energy together, yeah, try me if you want to. Hit me with your best shot, bitch. It's going to be lights, camera, action. Oh, I'm going to get, you want a show? I'm going to give you a show. I'm going to give you a show. Oh, some Eight of Swords shit. Um... Damn, what deck is that? It's this one. Hold up, let me find it. They gonna end up like the circus gonna randomly come to town and they gonna find out <laughs> who they're fucking with when they realize that yeah, they the star of the show, just not like how they want it to be. And that's also a part of your gift. But that's the thing that people don't think about. When divine give you a gift, that gift is can be used in light ways and shadow ways and neither one is wrong they're both divine yeah motherfuckers don't want to end up being the star of the show mm -mm. they don't they don't want to have to feel mentally tortured and you don't want to have to do that to nobody you don't but sometimes you understand it is necessary with with no harm to anyone that's what brings y'all together Y'all have, y'all, you in this community of people have learned to master not just your light, but also your shadow. And you will learn eventually that your shadow is actually not what binds you together, but what brings you together. It gives Suicide Squad. And I'm hearing gangster. I need a gangster to love me better than all the others do. To always forgive me. Ride or die with me. That's just what gangsters do. The magician. This is like being recruited to be a fucking scary ass superhero to build something that, you know, folks won't really be aware of until they need to. But it's preparation. I was talking about this yesterday when I was talking about Demon Slayer, the new season. They literally, like, all the Hashiras, that's what they're called, right? Were like training um, everybody because it's like this one dude was coming back because I can't never remember that little boy name. But the boy's sister, who was a demon, like, she overcame the sun. So, basically, she's, like, the only demon who could, like, be in the sunlight type shit. Um, but it's, like, everybody's trying to understand their gifts and strengthen their gifts and even, like, support those who have mastered their gifts because they know that a time is coming where they'll have to fight to preserve that which they... Um, like, fought to strengthen. Like I said yesterday, just because motherfuckers got defeated in the last... 
in the last season don't mean they're gonna give up, bro. That's gonna make some people like that's gonna motivate some people to like be on some world domination shit, which is debauchery and diabolical <laughs> and like ridiculously rambunctious, but balance. Sometimes the Empress and the Emperor don't work together. Sometimes the Emperor wants the Empress to be his Empress because he knows the Empress got a dynasty of her own. The Emperor don't want no motherfucking competition. Because without his dynasty, if everybody in the Emperor's dynasty moved to this Emperor, Empress's dynasty, who the fuck will this Emperor be the Emperor of? No, he'll just be a man. And whoever this is don't want to have to listen to a woman. That's their problem. It's very ego driven. Page of Cups. But the divine gonna smart out start out small. The divine gonna start out real small with this. You need to understand who the fuck this emperor is. You might have no idea. You might have no clue. You might know exactly who it is, but you might not think that this person has these types of like really feel like that in a fucking brain. Like they hate your fucking guts. Because you won't bow down to them. And everything that's happening around them is putting them in a position to bow down to you. Not because you're asking them to, but because, you know. That's just how things are operating. They're It's almost like they're a prisoner of war. They waged war. You won the war. They got captured as a fucking prisoner. And now they have indentured servitude. Not slavery, indentured servitude, service, something they don't know nothing about. They want people to be of service to them. They ain't never had to be of service to nobody for real, despite the fact that the position that they have is specifically to be of service. But that's why they've been stripped of, you know, what they had, even if, they, even if their ego took a toll. If, like, that's all that happened. Because they still got... They're still being identified as the emperor. They still have somewhat of a leadership role. But... This one actually looks like a turtle. They don't really be looking like turtles. This one actually looks like a turtle. Honestly, for Christmas, I want a, a genuine jade turtle necklace. Like, but I don't even want, like, gold or silver or nothing like that. I want it to be like, I want the necklace part to be like woven. Or something like that. Like, not string, like rope. I used to have one. And like, I didn't let go of it until like I absolutely had to. It broke, so I turned it into a, it was a necklace, it broke. So I turned it into an anklet. <laughs> and then wore it until like, it just disappeared. But this emperor could also be a woman. You could be a feminine energy. This emperor could also be a... Okay. Y'all both could be women. Y'all both could be men. Right? But it's all about who's truly mastered their divine feminine energy. Because that's it's the age of Aquarius. It's the age of the divine feminine. Not the karmic feminine. Not the divine masculine. Not the karmic masculine. Definitely not the karmic masculine. <laughs> definitely not the karmic masculine. But this is somebody who's mastered their divine masculine energy. But they have not mastered their divine feminine energy. And that is literally the lesson spirit is trying to teach them through this whole season. And they're, they have to realize... What they're going to realize one way or another is that they're their own blockers because this person, yes, they're divine masculine. They have a huge ego. They don't know how to balance their shadow, but everybody else do. Which means they can't use other people's shadow against themselves. They really can't manipulate nothing. They're going to either have to figure it out and join the circus or they're going to end up being a violent, an, an, uh, a consensual 
yet unwilling volunteer. And the universe going to be offering their ass up with the hangman. Because if they don't give service, they're going to be forced to. And the service that they're going to be giving is somehow going to be connected to you. <laughs> so it is because of the dope, baby. I say.